welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'll be making my beet salad. And I say my beet salad because I don't think I've ever seen it anywhere. <laughs> and it's very simple, very easy. It's just like making potato salad or any other salad for that matter. You have different variation. So you're gonna need eggs. If it's optional, if you don't eat eggs, you don't need it, okay? So of course you're gonna need beets. And you see it is already pre-washed. That's how I got it from the supermarket. But I'm gonna wash it more. And I'm just using three beets today. This is going to be my son's lunch. Sweet pepper. You don't want to use too much onion, so I'm just going to use half of that onion. Paprika, garlic salt, and I won't add the salt until after I am through boiling it. And there's a reason for that. And a dressing of your choice, cilantro. I'll be using mayonnaise as my dressing and you're gonna need some mixed veg. You can use pure corn, green peas, straight carrots, or you can just do the mixed veg. <laughs> now you wash and clean your beets, ensure that you do it properly and I know if you would, a lot of times, you know, when we do beets, we tend to boil it with the skin first because it's easier to peel because you don't want to take off a lot of the beets. But you just have to do, do it very lightly so that you don't remove a lot of the beets because the skin is very thin okay and of course after washing and cleaning you dice your beads now i cannot do a video without telling you the benefits of beads or any other food that i work on now beads oh my gosh it has so many good medicinal property if you have high blood pressure, it will take care of it for you. You're lacking iron, it will also do that for you. It improves your stamina, and boy, I really hope it does that. <laughs> you know, according to research in 2012, um, you had athletes that drank beets, like two cups of beets every day, and it really worked out for them because they they were able to exercise or you know do the track and field for longer than they would normally be able to before they start drinking beets hope that makes sense beets is so good if you're having cancer you know or tumor cells benign malignant it will also help with that if you have dementia it can slow down the progress and these are all from studies that was done okay after dicing the beets you Put the beets to boil see I'm adding two eggs and how I washed my eggs I actually put them in apple cider vinegar because you know the eggs come from out the chicken butt <laughs> and so feces sometimes are left on it although most egg farmers they wash and sanitize their eggs but this is the Caribbean, you can't be too sure of what is being done. So I like to do that myself. Okay? 
Oh, I'm adding onion powder. I won't be adding any salt to the mixture as yet. Oh, I must tell you, they also said that beets help with weight loss. Yeah. I've been eating a lot of beets and I don't see I'm losing any weight. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm not doing it the right way. Maybe the mean you're supposed to put it in smoothie. You know, not by just boiling and eating it like that. So, a lot of food that say it helps you lose weight or, you know, it's energy boosting. I think it has to do a lot with how you prepare it. Now, right here, as you can see, I'm cutting up or dicing the onions and I'm trying to get it small enough without crying. I dislike cutting onions. Sometimes what I do to prevent that, I use a matches stick. So I put down matches stick because it has what? Some sulfide or sulfate or something in there that actually pull the scent. Now I'm only using onion and sweet pepper today but sometimes you know if I have garlic I'll use garlic but like I said I'm using garlic salt for that reason. Uh, I had garlic, I had uh, other vegetables you know and spices if I have them. See I didn't have any parsley sometimes I add parsley too as well so I had my cilantro and my parsley so while the beets is boiling you continue your prepping so that when it is finished you just go ahead and you add it See, I have to keep a very close eye because sometimes the pot do tends to boil over. But it's looking good, it's coming on very well. Now, when it is close to, when it's almost finished boiling, I would add my mixed vegetable. Here it is, adding my mixed vegetables. If you have reached this far in the video, please comment beats. <laughs> Let's see who's watching. Or maybe some people just skip over to the end. But if you're watching, just comment in the comment section, beats. Now after it is boiled, and I mean, like I said, it take 15 minutes to boil. You just drain off the water. Of course, you're going to take out your eggs. Some people, you can boil your eggs in separate container, and that's Brandon. You know, you want a snack. And he's going to eat lunch after this, you know. Okay. So, you drain it off. Now, if you're going to make beet juice, you use that same water that you drain off from the beets and you add your turmeric and your ginger and a sweetener if you like how oh, I make my beet juice I'm, I'm gonna do a video on that one Now, after you drain off your beets, see what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? 
yes it is very pretty color combination it's looking so good should have had some more corn can add some sweet corn okay so remember if you don't eat egg that's okay you don't have to add any you just follow the same process now what I'm doing here I'm removing one of the yolk I'm gonna keep only one yolk in the salad and that is also optional you can keep both yolks because you know that egg it's good cholesterol every day we have new research once upon a time they used to say only one yolk or you can only eat egg two times per day per day per week <laughs> now you can eat any amount of egg it's even recommended that you eat more eggs another fun fact about beets is that it has a great source of minerals yep so besides potassium it has calcium iron magnesium phosphorus sodium zinc copper selenium again selenium selenium that is very that's a very good mineral I tell you and I guess that's why it it, it works in terms of cancer because of the selenium in terms of cancer prevention yes also reduce your cholesterol too so eat up your beets see I'm adding the onions and the sweet pepper I add all the seasoning and I add my salt yes onion powder despite you put onion in there yes this is also optional you don't have to add onion powder you can add any other seasoning you like you know I don't even put some black pepper in it you know because of the egg the egg is in it and my dressing is mayonnaise well that looks like a lot but believe me it's not that's like maybe two tablespoons because I didn't even use the new bottle of mayonnaise and then you mix it up and you don't have to use mayonnaise you can even cut an orange cut a sweet orange and put a bit of apple cider vinegar and a little bit of your seasoning mrs dash or something and just pour over it and mix it in see putting some oranges in it yes and that's the secret ingredient the orange juice and just a little like a teaspoon one teaspoon of the orange juice and then you combine all the ingredients and you just mix give it a good little mix and that's it fun fact again about beets it has vitamin C yes I remember this when you're taking iron you need vitamin C mm -hmm. so it has everything you need and I can tell you your child will love it
Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm going to place it for Mr. Bandan. Because this is lunch for him today. And don't be alarmed guys if after eating beets your stool becomes red or pinkish okay it is called beet urea okay that's if a urine becomes red or pinkish it's called beet urea and it is harmless so don't be scared And also be careful if you have low blood pressure, be careful when you drink beet. Okay, be careful or you drink and eat beet if you have low blood pressure. I must put it out there because I don't want what happened with the celery juice. <laughs> you know, and please check out that video. I really don't want that happening to anybody so if you have low blood pressure and you're eating a lot of beet it can actually you know make you end up in the hospital if you're having kidney stones as well don't drink beetroot do not drink it isn't that beautiful that is so pretty Mm -hmm. and he's gonna love it now if you're still watching this video comment pretty <laughs> it sure is pretty and it tastes so good if you're on my Instagram D-Ray Food Fitness you would have seen my son eating the salad and wow he was like getting down. He was chowing down. Yep, that's it. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and follow me on Instagram, D Ray Food Fitness. And if you try this recipe, let me know, you know, comment, yeah, write me, let me know, and tell me how it came out.